did not buy them because I thought they were ugly. So there has to be a reason that I love them. I just have to find a reason. everybody welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me today today i have a few things i wanted to share with you first i'm going to share with you some things that i bought from zalando pre-owned so i'm going to test the services if it's good if it's bad or quality of the clothes that they put online um also have bought the coat from um the cyber week that was way too big for me in two sizes smaller so i'm gonna see if it fits now so keep an eye out for that one and i'm also going to go through the best purchases i've made this year and the worst that i've made this year because we're coming to the end of this year and it's always good to remind ourselves what kind of year that we had obviously this was a terrible year for the most of us maybe for some are more tough than for others. And if you watch my channel and you are from the Netherlands, then you know that today is our first official day for, from our second lockdown. Um, but I feel like this lockdown is way, way bigger than it was last time in March when we had our first lockdown. So I really hope you're doing well. I really hope you getting yourself through this time as good as possible. I know for so many people this is the most happiest time of the year so I am so disappointed that we had to go on lockdown so please just a shout out to everyone stick to the rules stay home don't go outside if it's not necessarily I myself am to blame I did not listen to all the rules because I did go outside I did go to the garden center I did not have social contacts I have to say I've been very good about that but it is what it is, we have to get through this, so, and this applies obviously to any person in the whole world. I hope you're safe, I hope you're doing well, and I wish you all a very festive season and a lovely Christmas. But one more thing before we go into the video, and I think you know what it is. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new here today and if you like any of my videos give it a thumbs up and now let's go to the reason why you clicked on the video. These are the two dresses that I bought from Zalando pre-owned and I also bought an amazing skirt from Ted Baker. I'll put a picture on screen here so you can see how it looks like. I love that one. I am in love with that one. I love the big bow, I love that there are pockets in there, I love the pattern on it and although it is black, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> the only thing is, and you have that a lot with things from Ted Baker, is that it was so long. I took that to the tailors and it was really cheap to uh, make it uh, shorter, so I will get that back Friday and then you will see the results of it. I should have had made a picture before and after. I'm sorry, I didn't. But some other brands that I found on Zalando pre-owned, for example, is this beautiful summer dress from Lipsy or this beautiful one from Abercrombie & Fitch. And you will never believe the price range. So Abercrombie & Fitch is usually around 60 to 80 euros for a dress. And Lipsy is usually around the same price, 60 to 80, maybe 90, if you have a really expensive one. But this is really cute. It is really, really cute. So like I said, it's from Abercrombie and & Fitch. And yeah, the quality is good. It is literally brand new. I couldn't see any spots or any loose threads or something. So it's a really good way to get yourself some really nice brand in your wardrobe, but for a very, very, very... So I love it that it's here at the top uh, sheer and then you have like the slip dress underneath. So obviously all covered up very well. It gives me really a romantic vibe and I love my gold necklace with it. I mean, it goes with everything obviously, but... Just a nice accessory to make the look very complete, I think. 
Like I said, I love the ruffles. I love this the since you gain around the waist. The length of the original dress is nice. The length of the slip dress underneath is really short. But oh my god, this was not a bad pair of edge at all. So again, a really nice dress, second handed. So this is actually from the brand Lipsy and oh my god, how feminine is this? I think someone just might bought this for a um, wedding reception or graduation or something. I don't know, but it looks just like the other one, brand new. The label is in inside, even the little um, straps you use to hang your dresses, those are intact, so I don't think this is worn much. I have to say, it has a really weird smell. <laughs> that is the only thing I would say about it that I'm not quite happy about. But it fits really great and I have really fallen in love with the brand Lipsy this year. I heard from it also the first time this year and I bought that beautiful dress uh, that was in my um, Zalando order. Um, I will also leave that link down below. So again, this one is really short so it will only go with me on vacation or maybe I will could wear it here in the Netherlands when I have something quite fun to do with some friends if we ever allowed to i think the color pattern is might be a little unusual dark blue light blue dark pink light pink so obviously it's a strapless dress some maybe people will say this is more a party dress i could actually wear this easily on a normal day when i'm on vacation because i like to dress up when i am on vacation Please let me go on vacation next year. <sighs> Please. And here at the top, from it has um, a little sticky strap. I think you know what I mean. They have that in a lot of the dresses these days, just you know to let it stick to your skin. And uh, yeah, I think it works. It is a part of uh, Zalando, and it's Zalando pre-owned. And I found some gorgeous brands there. For example, Ted Baker, which is a brand that I absolutely adore. Um, Lipsy, like you have heard me talk about. Loads of things from Abercrombie and Fitch, of Hollister. Also stuff from Mango or from Tommy Hilfiger, for, for example. But the best thing is, there are also really designer things that you can see. I've even seen a, a pair of boots from Stuart Weitzman. Well, you know that those are, they are unbelievable expensive. So it's really, really great if you could get that for like half price. It's amazing what you can buy there, actually. I saw stuff from Sandro, from, um, I think, BCBG Max. Um, Max Mara or something, I'll put the right name on the screen because that is a really, really expensive brand. I'm not kidding. I've seen Michael Court, I have seen Coach, I've seen some things from Another Stories. So, as you see, I've just put on the two dresses and you've heard me raving about the Ted Baker one. So I can say to true honesty that I would recommend buying pre-owned pieces from Zalando pre -owned. You can really definitely find really nice things there. there. There are just two things that you have to keep in mind. The first thing is it will get here, not the fastest. It will take some time, probably like two weeks. The second thing you have to keep in mind is that obviously there is only one size available. So yeah, you can get on the website and you see a beautiful dress and you think, why is not my size? Well, obviously it is pre-owned, so it are only things that people have sent back to Zalando. So know that, keep that in mind, but have a look. I can really recommend it. Okay, so here we go again. We're back with the exact same code that I bought in Cyber Week or dur during Cyber Week. But it was way too big. It is from the brand Fashion Union and I bought it in a petite collection because I've shot from that brand before, blah blah blah, you've known if you've seen my video. So, to be honest, I bought this now in the size 30 from the petite section. 
usually I seriously do not have that size. It's ridiculous that it is still too big. I really hope you don't mind hearing the church bells, by the way. I'm just checking it out in the mirror myself now because this is the first time I'm trying it on. What I would love for this would be like this. If you put an extra button here, then it will look so sophisticated. Really gives me a little like Burberry vibes. Sorry, that's probably making no sense to anyone else, but anyway. And then I think make it half the length of what the um, skirt part of it is right now. I think I'll just call it that. And then, then it will look really sophisticated for me. I think those are things that can be done. I think if you bring it back, if you bring it to the tailor, I think it will cost me, I think 20, something like that. So that could be done. But is it worth it? Is it worth it? Because, well, the sleeves are okay now. I can cinch this in and it's not too big on the shoulders anymore. It fits. But I'm not sure if it's not this still too big around my waist because I still can make uh, pleats. From the back you can really see that it is a lot of pleats. So there is a lot of fabric that just does not have a place. Also in here, it looks baggy. You can see. I do love the cape detail, by the way. I love it so much. God, do I love this jacket. <laughs> yes, I really do. <laughs> I had a little risk through my closet and I found some pieces that I have absolutely been in love with since the first minute I saw them. It is of course the jumper that I'm wearing right now and the jeans that I'm wearing right now. These pink jeans have come, could have not have come at a better time. I have worn them already so much, you've seen them all in my videos. So you know how much I love them. And also the jumper I've talked about many times, so you know how much I love it. A few accessories that I'm absolutely am obsessed with is this little elbow bag and my over the knee boots, um, as well as the black one from Steve Madden as the brown one from Kiyomi. I have already spoken about them also loads on my channel. This little bag is so versatile that I would recommend them to anyone, <laughs> really anyone who wants to buy it, buy it. And as you have seen in my video about shoes, like a five pair every girl should have, I was raving about Ozini boots. So get one in any color that you want and wear them. This jumper, I have fallen in love the moment I saw it. You have already seen this also loads in my videos because I'm wearing it constantly. With the brown white jumper obviously comes the brown molly jeggings, so I love them as well. They are in the wash, so I couldn't show them to you. The last piece that I wanted to show you was this gorgeous jumper dress, also from Fashion Union from the petite section, so that's why I knew I would like that brand. I wear this also loads. I love it. I wear it lately with my old knee boots and it looked amazing. I couldn't recommend this one enough, just like the other ones. There are more things in my closet that I absolutely love, but these were the things that were absolutely standing out to me and maybe also to you. But unfortunately, I also have made some bad judgment calls about things that I bought and I could no longer return. One of them are these pair of shoes. This was my... I showed them to you in my second video. It's not that I don't like them. It's not that I don't fit them. It's not that I don't think they are uh, gorgeous and still on style because I absolutely think they do tick all the boxes that I want in a summer shoe. 
but I just have not wear them. Not even once. It could be because we didn't have the great summer like we usually have, because we didn't go on any vacations, because we didn't have actually the things that we would usually do because of the coronavirus. So it could be that, but for me, I could have saved money on these. And the same goes actually for this skirt. I love this skirt. It's a much um, longer one, but because the button half is see uh, sheer through, I thought it could still work for me. I have not wear this once, as well as the shoes, so that is not a good sign. Maybe the same reasons, because we didn't have the great summer like we usually have, or maybe I just wasn't comfortable wearing it. Um, so I'm gonna give this a try next year, and if I still haven't worn them, then we know for sure it was a bad judgment call. And last but not least, it is this album bag. This is not a bad purchase because I don't like it, but for the same reasons like the other two, I have not used it yet. You see, still the plastic is on it, the tag is still on it, but I have to say I cannot longer return any of these items, so I will use them. I am going to use them and I did not buy them because I thought they were ugly, so there has to be a reason that I love them and I just have to find that reason again. If everything goes to plan, I think you will really like my outfit next week. I might do some spoilers on my Instagram, so make sure you check that out. And I'm telling you, it's gonna be festive, it's gonna be glittery, it's, it's gonna be fashion for the season. This is it for today, I really hope you liked the video, and I will see you very soon for my next video. Bye now!